Are you prepared to make it through the winter when it comes to firewood? Or is your woodshed like mine now completely empty on that half? But when it comes to firewood and being prepared to make it through the winter, there's a few things that come into factor besides having enough firewood. One of those things is how are you gonna get the firewood into your woodshed? And by how, I mean who? So a few videos ago, I filled up this woodshed. I thought it would last longer than it did. We hit a couple big cold snaps and we burned through all the wood that I had brought in here. And like I mentioned in that video, I don't wanna start burning this stuff. This is like my reserve. I have wood in the wood yard to bring in. But the thing I wanted to go over today was, what happens if you, the person who brings the wood usually into the woodshed, what if you are unable to bring wood in when you need it? Well, this is the case where having a backup supply in your woodshed is, good, is a good idea. The other thing that's a good idea is to possibly have another member of your family prepared to step in and fill your shoes. So today what I thought I would do is I would bring Amanda out here and get her a little more seat time on the tractor, get her a little more comfortable operating the tractor and also have her experience bringing in one of these IBC totes full of firewood into the woodshed. Because you never know, you know, I could hurt my ankle, twist my knee, come down with the Decepticon variant. I could be recovering from a colonoscopy and not feel like sitting on the tractor seat. Who knows? But I think it's always a good idea to have somebody else in your family with that experience and that knowledge just in case. Because if something were to happen and you're not prepared, it's too late. You ready for this? This is for you to practice taking one of these. We're gonna go fill it up with wood and we're gonna put it in there. All right, push that in, okay. turn the key. And now tilt it forward so it flattens out. Good. You see what you'll need to do is get over that part of the shed there. We'll go fill this up and we'll bring it back and then we'll practice picking one up. All right, we gave her a quick refresher course. Give it a little gas. Sometimes she doesn't like when I tell her what to do. <laughs> there you go. Come ahead a little bit, straighten it out, go straight. This is the part that's a little tricky. So you wanna lower it down slowly. That's good. Slowly back up and then Okay, now lift up, raise this up, and tip it down. Now go back. Lift it up. Raise the forks up. Now drive forward.
Now I'll do that. Lift it up. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> All right, that's good. We have the wood in the shed and we are still married. <laughs> and there we have the little pup. Little Mando is here. So are you ready to load the woodshed if you ever need to? I suppose I could figure it out. Yeah, I, I could do it. I might actually do a better job of it not having somebody tell me every minute. Okay, now stop, do this. Now do this, now do that. I told you she doesn't like being told what to do. <laughs> So that'll do it. We got more wood in the shed and I'm somewhat confident we have a backup plan. The shed would hopefully still be standing if she had to do this again. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.